Have you ever pondered how an entire civilization could be swept away by another's ambition? Picture the Roman Empire in 58 BC, a world in flux under the rule of Julius Caesar. The political and military contexts were as volatile as the man himself, his ambition as vast as the empire he sought to control. Caesar's eyes were set on Gaul, a region rich in resources and ripe for conquest. The Roman Senate, however, was wary. They knew the perils of unchecked ambition and the potential fallout of a significant military campaign. But it was the Helveti, a tribe from Gaul, who unknowingly lit the fuse. Their migration across the Rhine and into Roman territory was seen as an act of provocation, a transgression that couldn't be ignored. This set the stage for Caesar's first campaign against the Helveti, a decisive move that would quench his thirst for power, wealth, and glory. And thus, the first domino fell, setting the stage for a bloody campaign that would forever alter the course of history. As the dust settled from the Helvetii campaign, could anyone have predicted the scale of the conflict that was about to unfold? The Germanic tribes led by the formidable Suebi had been eyeing the fertile lands of Gaul. Seeing an opportunity in the aftermath of the Helvetii campaign, they began their invasions. Caesar, however, was not about to let his hard-won territories slip away. He met the Suebi with the full force of the Roman legions, his strategic genius and ruthless determination evident in every battle. But the Gauls were not to be underestimated. Their bravery and resolve would ignite a spark that would soon become a flame. A young chieftain named Vercingetorix emerged from the turmoil, uniting the Gallic tribes in a revolt against the Roman yoke. This was not a mere rebellion. This was a fight for their land, their culture, their very way of life. In response to the uprising, Caesar led his legions with a cunning that was as impressive as it was ruthless. The Roman victories at Gergovia and Alesia were hard won, with Caesar making full use of his strategic prowess. The Gauls fought with a ferocity that was unmatched, but the Romans had the advantage of discipline, tactics, and superior siege technology. At Gergovia, Caesar's forces faced a fierce Gallic resistance. The Romans, however, managed to break through their lines, securing a significant victory. But the true test would come at Alesia. Here, Vercingetorix would make his final stand, and Caesar would pull off one of the most audacious military maneuvers in history. He ordered his troops to build a double fortification around the city, one to keep the Gauls in, and one to keep reinforcements out. In the end, Vercingetorix surrendered, and with him, the hopes of a free Gaul. Despite their brave resistance, the Gauls were no match for the might of Rome. In a clash of wills, tactics, and sheer force, the fate of Gaul was sealed on the battlefields of Gergovia and Alesia. In the aftermath of conquest, what happens to the vanquished and the victor? As dust settled on the battlefields of Gaul, a new era was dawning. The Romans emerged victorious, their iron grip tightening around the throat of the conquered Gaul. The aftermath of the conquest was an era of profound transformation. Gaul, once a tapestry of diverse tribes, was systematically Romanized. Roman laws, language, and customs seeped into the fabric of Gaulish society, forever changing its cultural landscape. Yet the conquest was not without consequence for the Romans. The glory and spoils of the Gaulish campaign catapulted Julius Caesar to unprecedented heights of power. His popularity among the masses was unmatched, his influence undeniable. But with great power comes great envy. Caesar's meteoric rise ignited the flames of resentment among Rome's elite. A conspiracy was hatched, and on the Ides of March, Caesar met his tragic end. The man who had conquered Gaul was himself vanquished, not on a battlefield, but in the very heart of Rome. The legacy of the Roman conquest of Gaul is a tale of two narratives. For the Romans, it was a testament to their military prowess and strategic genius, a jewel in the crown of their expanding empire. For the Gauls, it was the end of an era, a cultural upheaval that marked the beginning of a new identity. The conquest also left an indelible mark on the map of Europe. The Romanization of Gaul laid the foundation for what would eventually become modern France, 
shaping its language, architecture, and legal system. The Gaulish tribes, though defeated, were not forgotten. Their spirit, their valor, and their resilience echo through the ages, a testament to the enduring human spirit. In the grand tapestry of history, the Roman conquest of Gaul stands as a stark reminder of the indomitable human spirit, the cost of ambition, and the transformative power of conquest.